everyone, it's Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy. I just wanted to make a quick tutorial today to help address a question I've been getting a lot lately, and that is in regards to score lines. So most all of the more complex cut file designs I share on my website include score lines and sometimes include other cut lines within the main design as well. So I'm going to be showing you how to set up the file correctly within Cricut Design Space so that you get the nicely cut and scored pieces that you're looking for. All right, so I'm going to be using my 3D camping set cut files as an example. So I'm in Cricut Design Space and I'm just going to go to upload and then click on the file that I've already have uploaded here. Insert it into my canvas and it's a big one so it might take a second. Okay, so first things first, whenever you upload your own designs that have multiple objects in them into Cricut Design Space, it's going to group them all together. Uh, no matter how you have it set up beforehand, it's going to have them all grouped when it's imported. So the first problem I get a lot of questions about is that when, they tr when someone tries to attach their score lines, and I'll just give you an example here, and it might take a second because it's gonna be it's gonna be a big ask of the software um, so they're going to try to attach something and it changes all of the pieces to one color so if you are having this issue when you're trying to work with a cut file that includes score lines know that it's because you forgot to ungroup everything first so it's not a big deal all you have to do is undo that and then with everything selected, you just need to hit this button, ungroup, right here. So that is going to save you a lot of headache. So now that we have that done, what we're going to do is I have all of my files set up to include lime green score lines. And then if there are any lines that are supposed to be cuts within another cut piece, they're going to be bright pink. But you're like looking at this and you're like, those don't look green or pink to me, they just all look gray. So that's another thing that Cricut Design Space does. Let me show you something. So in Adobe Illustrator, which is the design program that I use to create all of my designs, you can see that this is what the file looks like. Um, it's got lime green um, score marks and a few uh, bright pink cut marks in places. But when it is uploaded into Design Space, it just changes them all so they look gray, which is a little annoying. But if you click on the lines themselves, so you can see this group of lines, which is part of my fire pit here. Um, it, like I said, they look gray, but if you look over here in the line type section, you can see that they're actually marked as lime green. So I'm just going to change these lines from cut to score and then with all of the pieces in this section selected, I'm going to hit attach. Okay, so then you just basically need to do that same thing for anywhere that there's green lines. So change these from cut to score, select both the lines and the um, little piece that you want them to be attached to and hit attach. And then just keep doing that. As you do it, it's going to move any of your attached pieces to the top of your layers. Hitting score, select them all, hit attach. Same thing, score, select them all, hit attach. Okay, so this is the tent flaps in the design and these include both uh, the green lines and the pink line. So, all you need to do is basically the same thing you've been doing is change the green ones to score. This one you want to leave as a cut line and so you just select it all and hit attach and that's it. Once again here's another one. This one only has a pink line and no green lines so I can just select both of these shapes and hit attach. Okay, so now I've done all of my score marks and cut lines, and this file should be good to go. Um, so if I go to make it, this is how we can kind of check. It's going to sort your um, colors, and if you have any, like, um, any color mats that just have a bunch of lines on like a lime green 
piece of paper or on a bright pink piece of paper, then you know that you missed one of the score or cut lines somewhere along the way and you'll just need to go back and find where that is and fix it. So there you go. I hope that answered any questions you had and addressed any issues that you were running into. Thanks for watching this video and have fun with your next paper craft project.